Alright. Oh, I think I missed a little something here. Why do you explore you fresh mistakes? Oh, no. that place isn't even worth Okay. So uh well we got the lantern right going on now, but let's continue this one on the new area. Oh yeah, oh, they healed already. Uh, yeah, it is over there. Oh, hang on. No, the road. Ah, this is off the road. Ah, here's the road. Oh yeah, there are those things. Uh, care for some lacro, a peculiar stone carving. Use the adaptive energy granted by forging to move these heavy looking stone carvings with ease. Maybe stone carving, but for some reason it looks all too carefree. Just, just what was the model after? Uh, listen to their language words and put them back in the correct places. Remember that all the stone carvings will return to their original positions willingly. Okay, just overworld uh, chests, probably. Millennial history have their eyes on us. This adaptable energy granted by Fujin to restore the collapse ruins to some extent. Okay. Mm, watchful simulacrum. Okay, I'll figure out those things. We should probably really differentiate them. Yeah, but this isn't... You can go anywhere you please. Yeah, not really, right? This is a person mountains, forest, and like on the carpet, they just be your... Alright. Let's take a look at the quest. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna go talk to random NPCs now. I'm gonna focus on the story. Youngsters over here. Finally, you're here. Is something the matter? Are you young master? You are the son of Feiyun Commerce Guild's manager. Uh, nope. We're here to investigate. I am but a humble servant. The one beside me is, in fact, the real. <laughs> okay, let's go with the lie. Yeah, alright. Don't listen to his jokes, old man. Oh my, so you aren't the Commerce Guild's young master. My apologies, I was considering only your wondrously fashionable attire and your flying companion. Your conduct too it was so unlike ours that I assumed that you must have come from Liu Harbor to discuss matters with us. Lu I am, s Lu, I am surnamed. What a weird way to say it. And all in the village call me Grandpa Lu. Uh, oh, a goat. Apologize, I must. Recent years I have not been kind. I have not even the tea to treat you to as guests. The adept will certainly not be satisfied with the tea ceremony this year. Uh, Grandpa Lu, the stuff read by you, aren't those tea leaves? Uh, the quality is far too lacking. How could I possibly serve such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from Feiyun Commerce Guild, for we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. They are our biggest customers after all. The crux of the matter is that this batch of tea simply is simply unsatisfactory. Uh, whether it be in terms of taste or quantity, this is an open secret among tea merchants. Oh Luo, the village chief, 
has also decided that no team may be sold until the college problem is solved. I have heard tell that the young master of the Commerce Guild is exceptionally smart and skilled. If he was caught a win, if he has caught a win of that this year's tea harvest was lacking in both quality and quantity, I thought he would come in person. Or if not, send someone here. So here I wait. Shouldn't you send someone to call him? Anyway, the problem with the tea leaves, I believe, lies with the soil. Problem with the soil. Indeed, I lived here my whole life and worked with tea since I was but a weak lad, and I can notice problems that others may miss. As I said, and may Adeptus Fujin bless us, it must be an imbalance in our soil and water. Adeptus Fujin. Oh, so you also heard the tale. That's quite rare, even among locals, few remember. Many, many years ago, Ch Chaoi village was nothing but a bare hill, bare hill. Terrifying demons dwelt here, dwelt there, and it was all thanks to Adeptus Fujin that the demons were defeated. The tea trees were planted, allowing our ancestors to come live here. But if it's really a problem with the water and soil, then I don't know what we can do about it. Actually, that's exactly what we've been asked to come investigate. Yeah, I don't know what we can do about it either. Uh, so, does that mean you believe me, young master? Yes, I believe you. Whether or not I believe you is irrelevant. Yeah, but I believe you. There's no reason not to. Is that so? Then that makes things easy. Come, I'll bring the tea leaf samples. Hey, let's go have a talk with Olu. Hmm. Something wrong, Grandpa Lu? Young master and young lady, if it isn't too much trouble, could you pretend you are from the Feyon Commerce Guild when we are meeting with Olu? Village chief Luo is a good person, but how to put this? He puts more trust in machines, cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. I mentioned an imbalance in the soil and water before, and we parted in on bad terms. But if it was the young master of the Feyon Commerce Guild, not sure if I can play the part. Oh, I guess I'll give it a try. Doesn't that doesn't seem like a good plan to Paimon? Ah, uh, don't worry. Even if he sees through it, it's nobody's idea but mine. None of the blame shall fall on you. Let's go. Where you? After my shift, I'm going right home and getting drunk. The blossoming warmth of showing sunlight added to the archive. That's pretty. Hang on, I. I need to equip something. <laughs> yeah, a gold. Fluffy fake, please, gold. Here. Yeah, I like the style of this place. Oh, huh. Oh. No, uh, time for a light show. Should I? Okay. Gee, Uncle Luo, this batch still isn't any good. They're not fragrant enough when you dry them, and they get so dry and brittle that you can't even put them in the roller. 
Even the ones that survived the secondary process come out the other end a complete disaster. Are you sure it isn't a problem with the machine? Are you sure you haven't forgotten how to operate it? What a thing to say. How could we dare to be so to be careless with you looking over our shoulders? How could you indeed? Ah, yeah, it's a great baloo. Jean, uh, get back to work. And this respectable looking young man is. Uh, I'm the master of the Fail Commerce Guild. I am but one who comes to the aid of the oppressed in a moment of need, a disciple of the Guhua. Yeah, I suppose you would say like that. What the heck? You even proclaim yourself a member of the Guhua clan? Uh, this is the master of the Fail Commerce Guild. Uh, he really likes reading other hero novels for fun. Uh, uh, the landscape of Chenyu Vale is filled with a mysterious mystic. Uh, it must have got into his head. This is my servant. Uh, it will suffice to call her Mini Pie. Uh, yes, that's it. Call me Mini Pie. Uh, in that case, welcome, welcome. A ghastly kill is a word treat indeed. We have been quite reliant on the assistance of the Commerce Guild for many years, but as for what's, ha what's happened this year, I suspect you have already heard about it. What's wrong? You're looking pretty miserable. Did Jim mess up at work again? Huh, you won't mock me again. Uh, my apologies, dear guests. Normally, I would invite guests from afar to send for new teas, but this year's batch, well, you know. No tea? Are seriously going to let me, the young master? No need to stand on ceremony, Chief Luo. We're here to help. Yeah, the young master is very concerned about the tea leaves, so there's no need to be so tied up with formalities, Chief Luo. Oh, very well then. To tell the truth, this batch of tea leaves is no good either. They can be dried, and I can't tell if they were bad when they were picked, or if it's a problem with the machine in our workshop. No, how is that difficult? Why not just use some of the older leaves you have in stock and see if the products you get from drying them is any different? The product's normal, then you know it isn't a problem with the machine. Seriously, I've told you before, forget it. As we have important guests present, then we'll give your method a try. Jane, do we have any fresh, leaf, fresh leaves remaining from other batches? Well, they wouldn't be fresh anymore. Um, there's some in the warehouse. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, good one. We've been talking here for a good long while now, and you haven't listened to us. You weren't listening to a single word, were you? You all fetched some of the other batches and processed it along with some newer stuff that Grandpa Lu brought using the machine. Uh, don't you dare skip a single step. I'll be watching you. After a bit, Jim brings back two batches of freshly dried tea. How about this? I see our two guests are quite young. They might prefer snacks to tea tasting. Why not turn these two batches into tea cakes? The quality of each will be evident with a single taste. What do you think, Olua? Agreed. We'll do just that, Jean. Listen up. Take these two batches of tea leaves and make them into two, two different tea cakes. One cake from each batch. Don't you dare even get a single leaf mixed up. Yes, sir, Uncle Luo. You want me to mix the whole to one cake? Oh, for I can't even. Uh, sorry for the long wait. We got both tea cakes here. Let's try them one at a time, shall we? Why can't we just have tea? It wouldn't be a problem. Probably faster, too. Well, how's the taste? Uh, the first one tastes a bit strange, but the second one was delicious. Uh, you're seriously going to let me, the young master, eat? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> the tea cakes made from the tea we had in stock taste fine. Alright, you win. So according to you, the tea processing machinery is fine. In other words, the problem is with the tea itself. Uh, this new batch of tea is just not as good as before. So, the water and soil. But perhaps it's the cauldron that's a problem. It's old in, in this disrepair, which must have off 
of any of the adapters causing the tea to deteriorate. No, no, it's the soil in the water. It's the elements that nourish the soil. Uh, enough, enough. Let's get the technician in charge of the tea cauldron he in here first. It's the Fontaine, the one from the Fontaine Research Institute. Hot, hot, what was its name? Was it, what was it again? Uh, name is such a pain to pronounce. Jing, go get her, would you? Jing, Jing. Just where the lazy loafer abs gonna do to this time? That brainless nitwit. I was going to have him go to Ill of Wars in search for a technician. Would you specifically need someone from Hotain to fix it? About Elon Wharf? I wonder, senior researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, I never imagined the young master of the young commerce guild to be so skilled. That makes it easy. Please, if you lend a hand. It's just an honorary title. Honorary. Uh, is that so? Uh, well, it still speaks to the abilities of the young master. Even the honors of foreign nations are not beyond reach. So, you see, honorary guests. Honor guests uh, I'm really sorry, but I need to trouble you to go to Elon Wharf and find our technician. Miss Oates Mun Muntani. Uh, it's more likely than not she's found herself a uh, show there that she can't tear her eyes off. Not possibly there to ask her guests to do such a thing. Oh, Lua, you misunderstand me. Our other guests already had business to attend to a... Uh, Elon Warth, and you would just be passing along the message on the way. It's nothing, really. Is that so? Is that so? It would seem to be so. I'm truly sorry. Then, if you wouldn't, other guests, oh, Lou, I'll leave it to you to accompany them. Uh, thanks for your hard work. You scared Lou so much she was jumping at his own shadow. <laughs> now, you miss. You mentioned earlier that you were here to investigate the water and soil, right? Best you head over to Yilong Wharf then. It isn't far from the headwaters. And there are ruins left by the Adepti along the way. So if you're looking for clues, there's your best bet. As for passing a message to Old Montagny, is that really the name or just how he's pronouncing it? Uh, well, please lend a hand, would you? Give Olua some peace of mind, so he doesn't worry himself to death. Even Minion Pai can handle a thing so trivial. Hey, where's your acting? The show's over, and what's it calling Pai on Minion Pai anyway? Anyway, just leave to us, you can rest easy, Grandpa Lu. Such great kids you are, really great kids. Alright, oh, I noticed that you two really enjoy the tea cake. Why don't I teach you the recipe? Next time you come by some quality tea leaves, you'll be able to make some for yourselves. In any case, safe travels, be careful on the mountain paths, and mind you don't sleep. Alright, so now, right here? Oh, I didn't get the teleport there, I better get it. So, it'll be a faster way back. Golden Carp. This is quite similar to the Adaptal Energy that the Adaptus were just. Ah, uh, it's this region cities.
Okay, am I supposed to fight them? Gather. Do your work. The field is lit. Seen of flowing lotuses, is that the manner to light the lotus flames through about the river? Use lotus flames suspiciously briefly in your light your by little load, which can be speckled. Okay, okay, I'll learn by doing. We get one of those for our fish tank. Hey, you know, Spamo, you two are indeed brilliant, as I expected. Upon seeing my dissipated adept of energy, we immediately understood the situation. Of course, we're super duper experienced adventurers, you know. Still, why didn't you say anything sooner? You didn't just forget, did you? Uh, about that, should not. The path of the Adepti be full of challenges. This is merely a test of your wisdom. Call me the Master Test Taker. Uh, it was you who brought us here. Speaking of which, just what's the problem with the soil and water you mentioned before? Grandpa Lou was also sure that this was behind the deteriorating quality of the tea leaves. Yes, you too have seen Chowin Village. Should the quality and quantity of tea leaves continue to decline, so will the village, until finally, in the years to come, it degenerates back into what it was millennia before, a desolate mountain forest. A mountain forest doesn't sound desolate. Uh, are you sure is that is isn't hyperbole? I understand what you mean, no, are you sure? Yeah, it is true, the Lord of Geo would not stand idly by as uh, disaster befell, where the sky collapsed, the conqueror of Timos and other Adepti would do their utmost to support it. Should the waters under Elon Wharf breach the dikes and flood, your harbor would aid the villagers. Without tea, this stretch of mountains would, or Chowing village rather, would lose its very reason to exist in human eyes. That makes sense. When you put it like that, I will understand. So, are you too willing to help me correct the imbalance in the water and soil? What do you say, Minipai? Who the heck's Minipai? Never heard of them before. Hmm. But Pai wants to help the Adeptus Fujin in Chowin Village. Uh, when she thinks about such delicious tea cakes being lost forever just because there's no good tea, it would be a big shame, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, that's excellent. Uh, your willingness to is commendable, and one is quite grateful to both of you. Now, back to business. When it comes to how to resolve the disharmony in the soil and water, one is well aware of what to do. First, you two must go up against the currents and seek the jade treasures thrown into the waters. In the end, we must perform an ancient rain jade rite once more. Dispelling the miasma that has settled over the mountains and fields and into the rivers, and restoring the water veins in soil. Okay, got it, but um, just how do we do the ritual? Hmm. That's fudging, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. As for the ritual, it's still a bit early for that. Well, then, we'll see each other later. Why she seems shady in the way she talks? And she's gone. According to her, we need to go against the current that just means upstream, right? Hey, that's the same direction as Yelling Wharf. Let's go. Hmm. Isn't that the new boss? Oh. There's a lot of treasure here. Uh, 
Uh, the thing I was watching me is here anymore. Uh, hang on, should I continue? Okay, cross and cross. Oh. This won't be like the Nara I helped this alongside the road and became the ridiculously long side quest. Right? Strange merchant. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Haya, the entire cargo would have been lost without you. That? I don't have much money on me, but please take this as, as your reward. Don't be shy. Oh, you're too kind. This farewell then. I hope we'll meet again. Okay, so I think this would be some ongoing quest after meeting him on a few places. We'll figure out we're actually helping a bad guy or something like that. Okay, I'm curious, where is he going? Any season we usually just go like that. Hey, keep off. This is the boss main, boss main turf. Oh, so me? Or who is this boss man you speak of? Who is the boss man? Huh, if I told you, you knew all over with fright. Uh, it's for your own good, pal. Live well alone while you shouldn't mess with. You're so suspicious. Suspicious? Whoa, there. We're just dormant. If anyone's acting suspicious, it's you weirdos poking your heads everywhere. Yeah, he, he's got a point. Whatever, we got nothing to say to you. Just quit bothering us. Two again. Stop snooping around, friends. Just pretend you didn't see us, and we'll pretend we didn't see you. Just a weird noise, noise from inside the cave. What are you guarding? Take a guess what we're paid to do, buddy. What? Why? Uh, I will only tell two of you, so don't tell anyone. Come on, come closer now. Sure, Pam was listening. So you get rid of people like you. Ah. Will this become a fight? With you again? Okay. Just a weird noise. I farted. <laughs> right, he farted. So everything is okay then. Alright. That guy's suspicious. Where are all notes? Uh, this case is being used as temporary warehouse. Please do not store any items here unless they are of great mercantile value. Shawin Village has been busy trying to resolve the tea leaf problem lately. The number of villagers guarding the ruins has been greatly reduced. We can store the antiques we've been digging up here and transport them under the guise of being tea leaf products. Tushin discovery discovered a merchant with some stumped beasts. Perhaps we could use them to transport our goods. Can you come through the chasm with stumped beasts? Important. Do not hit the big iron lump in the depths of the cave. Okay, over ground there is anything you can't really see. Okay, this seems like an important side quest. Guys, a pass already. Uh, 
Wait, it's this one or the other? Uh, I'll go for the teleport and you know, jump down. I didn't see this place from Fontaine. that before the quest here we are we long are that's what hmm, fontaine yeah. though i don't understand it the least i still think it's amazing hmm, different boy just watching her staying there singing or sing while walking around or sing while sitting and the thing while well, she lifts her hand and slowly lets it fall, all the wife ceaselessly singing. I really don't know just what kind of magical powers the old lady has. Babbling, chanting, singing and reciting, reciting and crying. I haven't got a clue what she's saying, but it's amazing. Little Mao can't understand. Uh, that's just how opera singing is. And where is their fight scenes later? There was the old dude who could do 80-80 flips and tricks, riveting stuff. Yeah, it's great. It's just a shame that I don't understand a thing. A whole bunch of people fighting and jumping all over the place, all super flashy and such, one-on-one. -on -one. Several all fighting, all fighting each other, five or six taking turns. It's just almost addictive. Hello, we're looking for a technician from Fontaine. Chef, Chief Lu and Grandpa Lu said... Uh, what name did they give us again? Oat Montagny. Hot Montagny. Hot Montagne. Is that hot? It's supposed to be hot. Hot Montagne. Ah, uh, yeah, sounds like Grandpa Lu sent you, alright? Just call me Hot Montaigne. I'm a researcher from Fontaine Research Institute. Uh, I'm the young master of the film commerce guild. I am but one who comes to the aid of the press in the moment of need. It's about the Goa. Uh, uh, I'll have you know that I'm an honorary senior researcher. Seriously, is there really a moment to be comparing? Anyway, it's Inus and Paimon's Paimon. It was Grandpa Lu who sent us looking for you. Uh, so your colleagues from the Institute. Excellent. Looks like you guys couldn't stand the hopeless rash of organization either. Mr. Inus, Miss Paimon, hello. I'm Little Mao, a friend of mountains. Uh, yes, that's what my name means. Whole mountain can be a bit hard to pronounce. So I asked Little Mao to just call me that. Really? Quite the interesting pair. How did you meet? Uh, it was quite fortuitous. Uh, last year I went to the mountains in the south for our spell and got lost in the fog. A huge beast the size of a cow at eating Louis was glaring at me. And I thought I was done for. But just then... A little kid suddenly shouted at me. I followed the sound through the mist and got out and was saved. Otherwise, I would have been eaten just like that. And my family found that wouldn't even have been able to claim compensation on my account. 
Yeah, I know more about what goes in all in the mountains than in the grow ups. Is that so? You're amazing, little mall. The Montaigne and Paluin Chief Luo are looking for you. We heard about the tea cauldron in Chowing Village. Alright, got it. I'll be there in your jiffy. Uh, all the shows here are just so just too good. I ended up watching several. One right one right after the other. And now my legs have fallen asleep. But I just can't understand a word. What sorts of stories are they telling? It's about how way back when a huge carp and a monster fall on the mountains fought. Ah, uh, you kill me, I'll kill you, story. In the end, everyone dies. Uh, that's a pretty concise summary, but don't talk about killing and dying so much, no more. Uh, if you think about that kind of stuff too often, you might become the villain when you grow up. Since those in Chowing Village are waiting for me, and it's time to go, see you all later. Let's go watch the shows here again when you're about to head back to Fontaine. Okay, now that we solved the puzzle, we can get back to business. Thermal, how about you? What are you going to do? Uh, to be honest, we're not quite sure how to explain. The water and soil in Shenyu Vale are kind of out of whack. And we need to cure them and for everything in Shenyu Vale to get better. I get it. Miss Paimon is trying to say that we need to restore nature. Yeah, that's right. You're really amazing, little mom. You got it right away. Restoring nature, you say. Did someone talk to you about that? That's right. A friend who's always taking care of me told me. She wants to restore nature too. If we restore nature, everything will get better. So I want to help too. She also told me about you too. Oh, so you've seen her too? Uh, you mean my friend? Of course, see Miss Paimo. How could we be friends if... I never seen her. Fair point, that makes things easier. I actually want to Pama remembers we need to find the jade treasure in the water. And then do some range in right. But even though we've come up streams, we still haven't found any clues. I know, come with me. I'll show you where to look. But it will it will is it really that easy? You know all your friend wants to restore nature, right? Yeah, she told me a lot, such as stars from before Chowing Village became Chowing Village, how the tea trees came to be, and more. She said that things will get worse and worse if Chenyu Vale, in Chenyu Vale, if the nat natural order isn't restored. It looks like we're on the same page then. Then, uh, you just said you knew where to find leads, right? Yeah, I don't know if you'll help. When we mentioned jade treasures and rain jade and stuff, I just thought of it. Come with me. Yep, let's go. How convenient that she was talking to him. It's a cavern behind the waterfall, trying to get soaked, you might catch a cold. Uh, it's blocked off. Oh. So, what were you saying? Okay, what's this? Let me get that adapter of energy ago with this. Uh, is it just. Solidify! Quadrature experience. Oh, they're amazing, Mr. Ignis. Uh, 
Uh, there's more water here before, maybe I'll have to swing next time. Oh, huge claw marks in ball prints. And some huge wild beast left in behind. Huge, right? This is it. It's a clue I wanted to show you before. Right here. What on the device is that? It's so covered in moss that I can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, there wasn't any moss last time I came here. No need to worry, little mal. It's so humid here that it's no wonder there's moss growing everywhere. Uh, there must be a way to clear it that way. Fire? Fire hazard! Yeah. The boss came loose. Woohoo. Look, it's look. It's a scene of ancient people attending a festival and performing a ritual. Pretty different from the festivals we have today, huh? Of all the grown ups in the city and village all said that the Lord of Geo was the first to arrive in Chenyu Vale. I heard that the people in the picture actually got here even earlier than he did. Uh, people back then used to throw bits of magic jade into the river and they float along until they sink to the bottom. They saw it as a way to guarantee good water, prevent the river from flooding and ensure that the soil would be fertile. Based on what we previously discussed, I'm guessing that Chenyu Vale will only be fixed after we found some jade that was thrown into the river in ancient times. That makes sense, doesn't it? No, I think I need to throw new jade, not take the jade they already offered to the river. So, wow, you're so knowledgeable! Uh, was your friend also the one who told you these stories? You rule, little Mao. That's first class guy material right there. These lanes are fascinating. And little Mao's a local, so of course I understand this place better than Paimon. Yep, and everyone will be ready, really blessed and live happily after and all that. Uh, but I much prefer hearing her stories about ancient wars and battles. She told me that the warriors back then were all giants who were over 10 feet tall. The warriors of Chenyo Vale were covered in tattoos, and they had these massive jade axes that could chop a person in half in the blink of an eye. And the Millilith led... The Millilith were... Oh, okay, led by none other than the Lord of Geo himself, were even tougher. They clad themselves in suits of armor that weighed over a thousand pounds and fought with hundred pound spears. Apparently, everyone was at war back then, so much so that Bishui River turned crimson red. Later on, the mountains to the south became full of ghosts from that era. Oh, even now, those who water through the mountains must still be able to catch their singing on the wind. Eh. Yeah, it's scary stuff. Cover your ears, Mew Pie. I don't think stars are meant for kids. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. Homo Tain's right. You shouldn't dwell on this stuff all the time. Uh, there's no way grown ups would tell us the stories. They always say we're too young to hear them. That they'll turn us rotten and stuff like that. But I'm old enough already. Hearing that story is not going to turn me into a monster. Besides, there aren't many adults still around who know the stories, anyway. If my friend hadn't told me, I wouldn't even have known the stories about this picture. Okay, fine then. I guess we'll move on. So, the grown-ups were right to say that those ancient people threw the jade into the river from somewhere high up, but where exactly? And where did the jade float off to? Well, it must have sunk to the bottom, right? It's not that simple. If it was throwing 
somewhere upriver, and even if it sank to the bottom, it would still be pushed downriver by the current, let alone after so many years. Besides, I've never heard talk of any ancient ritual jade being found upriver. Chenevale is a small place after all. If there had been such rumors, everyone would already know about them. Uh, you know so much. You're future scholar material for sure. Uh, but what if I don't want to be scholar? They don't earn much more. It sounds like no fun. Then become a traveler, just like us. What could be more fun than adventuring around the world? Uh, seeing as we now know the side of the chain, range 8, right? What should we do next? Why don't we go somewhere high up to take a look? Let's observe how the river flows. Somewhere high up. Uh, the watchtower uh, Elon Wars pretty high up. Okay, let's head out. Uh, I want to take another look around. Okay, let me know when you're ready. You were showing... Oh. You were showing me the turtle. Stabilize. Sorry. Pure, jade, pure water jade. Where... Where do I keep them? Are they... They aren't quest items. Uh, uh, found the wine, recommendation, push in value, name of the school, finish. Local specialty, no. Yeah, okay, it's just... I don't think it's the quest one. <gasps> Shall we go? Aye. Alright then. <laughs> Look from up here. You can clearly see how the water moves faster through those, those narrows, then slows down again as the river widens out. The jade must have stopped there. We should find what we're looking for there. Wow, you're such a real whiskey. I must be wondering though, what's the massive thing in the distance? Uh, the huge thing is the Jade Mouth, a legendary Jade Ring that an Adeptus threw into the water. Oh, but the river curves around there, so the current should actually speed up. But the river gradually gets wider there. Yes, yeah, so the rapid flow around the bend might have resulted in things being deposited along the convex bank where it widens. So there's actually a good chance that the jade is at the bottom of the river somewhere around jade mouth. Of course, that's assuming that the course of the river hasn't been artificially altered. We can dive here. Uh, not to mention, there's a fisherman's legend that goes something like Jade shall rise from sunken mouth, or something like that. Anyway, let's go over and take a look around first. Compared to little Mao, Paimon feels like she's completely out of her depth. And it's because my friend's amazing. She knows everything there should know about the mountains. And she taught me loads too. That's how I've learned so much. Sorry Paimon, you just need better friends. Uh, you are unfit for duty, Minpai. As a master, I'm most disappointed. Don't worry too much about it. You need better friends. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, you have unblocked the cave and got rid of that moss in a flash. And I have no idea how you even did that. Just kidding. Don't overthink that. Better the case, let's go down and get on a bamboo raft. Uh. Hey, Jerry Mouth, here we come. That one there. Yeah. Someone coming on board. Wait, is that a little mouth? Come, come, I'll take you. Alright. Alright, Bowman, take us to Jade Mouth. 
All right, you change mouth to this. Uh, the other two, you are thirst. <laughs> well, if you're here for sightseeing, there's not many. Oh, uh, you could say that, Mr. Boldman. Aren't there any stories about the Jade Mouth that I haven't heard before? Uh, knowing you and how much you love stars, Kiro, you must have heard them all by now. Tell me more, tell me more. Alright then, well, I heard the mention that the Jade Mouth was left behind by Rex Laps when he marched through here to save people to your veil. Legend has that prevents naval advance from downstream. The local adepti. Uh, you are making it up as you go again, Gramps. There's no way the Lewis name came up this river. I heard that the Jade Mouth was formed by a piece of Jade left behind by Jade Carp. Those days, a uh, Betty God tried to redirect the river to drown the mini lift station on both banks of Chain of Vale, but a giant white snake and a giant carp who were her submarines disobeyed her orders. Giant white, oof. she threw the jade, she threw, were there, the jade pin the river down, and ever since had no more floods, and everyone lived peacefully on both sides of the river. Uh, you might understand a lot, Kate, but you haven't seen much. Take a closer look. There aren't any crops by this river. See, after it was being down with the jade, it's true the river hasn't flooded, but it's also meant that it has been able to provide irrigation for crops. And it was, was wide, gently for the river, so they never rapidly flowing through it. Such river leaves no sustenance for the earth on its banks. Uh, and of course, it also means no people living peaceful lives on both sides. Pemo gets it now, but did you just say that I were resigning, resisting the Lord of Geo? That's how it was all the time ago. Some people believe that the first Lord of all Leo was reclassed, but in Chain of El, we believe that before he came, it was on gods of the Adepti who protected our ancestors. I heard Great Palu say the tea ceremony is actually for the Carp Adeptus who played our first tea tree. No burn, this Adepti meant to be the baddies. They were serving under a petty god after all, but they refused their orders. In some stories, they are the baddies, or in others, they are the goodies. But it was all such a long, long time ago, even Gwams don't remember much, so they always try to bluff me. Uh, talking about that friends of yours again, how can such supernatural being be held on simple codes of right and wrong? As far as you are concerned, not the force we have ever blessed to protect slaves serve our offerings. No, there you go again. Uh, Alright, then uh, time to get off. We are here. Thanks, Grapes. I thought we would use the boat to be on the river. Here, this jade mouth. So, she should just change even on the pieces that are missing. Yes, you know, whoever throws it down, adapts or not, must be huge. Boats are made for transferring commodities They back. adapt that come in all shapes and size. They could be a tower's clouds, as well as be spool leaf. There's never enough time to read anything. So this is it. No, oh, there you go. We can't really dive, right? the jade mouth but how are we gonna find out that jade underwater uh, so that's how it is the springs cries ripple through the veils the shrines depart from northeast shores the heights and shallows in the southwest heights the heights and shallows in the southwest heights sun and earth from which other divide the eternal ripple that never churns the beautiful jade concealed the thing. What's that little mouse singing about? That sounds pretty complicated. It's one of our local folk songs. I heard an old granny sing it as she was gathering herbs. 
It means if we look out for, from the center of the river to the banks on, on either side, you see two stone shrines hidden to the northeast and the southwest. These shrines keep the mighty Rupu in the center suppressed. Paimon understood the last bit, so the jade is all hidden beneath the Rupu. So there are copy pictures of the kingdom now. We'll have a cave under a Rupu. Uh, that sounds like we're going treasure hunting, hooray. But the area between northeast and southwest is huge after all. The broad says the northeast and southwest the mountain can include pretty much the whole world. Uh, you're always... Okay, so that means their planet is round. So if Tevat is the whole world, once you complete the map, we should be able to go around. Otherwise, Tevat is just a region of the world. Uh, you're always thinking outside the box, Miss Pamel, but there's no need to worry. I already have an idea where the shrine will be, because, well, my friend told me. Come on, let's roll. Let's roll. Doesn't make sense when people don't have cars. Uh, I have a question. I have. Does anyone else think a giant mouse from suddenly appearing might, be, might not be too great? Oh yeah, won't that mean that boats will no longer be able to sail in and out of Willow Wharf? Don't worry about that, my friend told me that once we've done what we need to do beneath, the ripple will disappear completely. Otherwise, how would the all the boat make carry on making a living? Oh, so it's not just smart Whirlpool, but a considerate one to boot. Let's get going then. So... Oh, he point marked me already. Job. Gather! Frost is coming! We're open! Going under! Getting gear! Frost is coming! Pair! Getting gear! Becomes Frost is coming! Pair! Frost is coming! Pair! Yield! The field is lit! There's more! I will have order! Flee! Grant us your blessing! Get in gear! Pair! Dead reckoning! Frost is coming! Get in gear! Frost is coming! Pair! Let's so cross this place, turn over, possession, pressure reporters on the step of hearing talk on the cross. I don't even know which two are those larger ones. Yeah, I guess it is. Good. Frost is coming! Get in here! Going under! Pair! Frost is coming! The wrong test subjects Okay, so uh, there's something here. Someone's notes. The springs cries ripple through the veils. The shrines depart from the northeast. Okay, same thing. We found two shrines the legends pick off, and it seems they too are related to our ancestors in the mountains. But the meaning of the folk song mentioned above remains unclear. We don't have a clue what to do here. We're just running around like headless chickens. Everyone got really worked up when they heard our comrades exc excavating and shipping antiques already. May Big Mora? Who knows how much longer we'll have to stick around here. Oh, sh she really was all about you. You're pretty much a lot. Certainly worth the extra mile. Okay, so next one. <laughs> oh, didn't, didn't read that.
Uh, I said look, was I supposed to look at the... No, doesn't seem to be anything there. Jenny says, call the road after winter shores and the change. Ripple light sensors, pipes, everything. I don't see the ones, something more is my head. Okay. I'm using adaptive energy. Get that. So the large ones don't matter, just the small, small ones that have to be lit. Guess that settles it. Oh, you're amazing, my friends going to win. Came on the Certainly shrines. worth the extra mile. Uh, you got the right. She gave us the power. Shouldn't she be able to? So a little up. Which pros? Mm, I haven't seen real pump for on the song yet. What should we do next? How about giving that adaptive energy of yours a try? Oh, maybe I should go to the try use the adaptive energy. Oh, there. The drink look, rope appears like some said. If you close up the ward, so I won't be able to get those things here. So I said, I'm calling carp. Let's see you again. Left those Fuji. Fuji. Oh no, I'll get a, a thing there. So I'll come back here afterwards. And get those things. I'm not marking on the map now, so I will forget what I got, what I didn't. Ooh. In spam, we meet again. And who might this be? You haven't met before? This little mouth. He's helped us so much along the way. No, we haven't met before. But it must be a good child, little Mao. Hello, and yes, that's me. Miss, are you an Adeptus? You are, aren't you? This is Adeptus Fujin. Uh, thanks for all you, the help you've given in Zimpaimo, little Mao. It really is. It's really the legendary Fujin in the flesh. I can't believe this. I've heard so many stories about you. And now I know that you're not some kind of big slippery carp, but a lady instead, like a big sister. Big carp? Honestly, what kind of stories have you been listening to, little Mao? Uh, one, one is little Adeptus, and as such, 
can take forms as one please this particular form seems like the most approachable for approachable one for conversing with humans uh, from what you've said you have a very unique saint, saint normal have you met someone in the mountains before someone with red eyes and a fair complexion complexion perhaps Not exactly, Big Sis Fujin. You're not talking about one of your other friends, are you? My friend from the mountains doesn't sparkle like you do, but she's also really cool. She's helped me tons and tons of loads. So it was her, after all. So your friend was Adeptus Fujin, after all, huh? But Big Sis Fujin is my friend now, too, now, isn't she? Of course, little Mao. I'm delighted to have made friends with you. Where you go, little Mao, you now met two adepti. Uh, little Mao's met other adepti. As for whether little Mao's friend counts as adeptus or not, I'm not quite sure myself. After all, adeptus is merely a title. It's, it's hard to say whether adepts are even people. The word adeptus is just like any other word, such as hero, villain, or idiot. No one is born an adeptus. Then no one shall remain adeptus forever. That's true, so you've met the friend of Little Mouse that we're talking about, right? Indeed, but it's been a long, long time since I saw her. So now I suspect that I don't know her half as well as Little Mouse does. I'm not even sure if I still count as her friend. According to what Little Mouse said, his friend wants to restore nature. His friend wants to restore nature too. Big difference. I would imagine so. Anyway, I must ask you all to please take this piece of votive range aid. I had originally hoped it might remain here, the same as it ever was, but I never expect to grow quite so large. Jade grows in water. Uh, I used to love it so. This rain jade that you mentioned. Did it rain down or make it rain or something? Of course not. After the great changes in our geology, our the ancestors of the people of Chen Vale lost their ability to communicate with the heavens and lost the guidance of emissaries whose beauty was pure as moonlight. Henceforth, they began to take jade, which glow as gently as the light of the moon, and cast it into the river. As they did this, they would pray for good omens, for fertile land, for clammy water, and for the river banks to hold strong. Over time, these rituals grew in power until one day, one day, Mrs. Fujin, what happened next? One day, the long war to become the gods who would reign over this world began. At the war, this tradition lost all its meaning, but though it was forgotten, its name is still passed down over generations. To cut a long story short, this piece of votive range before us was the very last one ever to be thrown. Just as the part above the surface, when commanded by the Adepto by an adept of art can be made large enough to stop a flood its core too has been swollen by the uncontrolled adept of energy much of its power has dissipated into the surrounding area through the spirit base this power may also have affected the nearby flora and fauna attracting and even making aberrations of them you must be careful what as far as I can tell, the adaptal energy that uh, has dissipated nearby should be sufficient to re reawaken the hibernating votive range age. If this is the case, we are one step closer to achieving our goal of nursing the water and soil back to health. Uh, how should I say this? In Zepaimon, thank you both. You are doing an amazing thing by choosing to help me, you know. A little Mao, we will help me too. We will help your big sis. Of course, I want to restore nature too. Is that so? Well, that's good. You're very smart, little Mao. You understand everything later. Alright, then let us go our separate ways for now. 
Once you retrieve the Adeptal Energy, fill the Voltive Range Age, we'll meet again by a deep pool shrouded in cloud and mist to the south. The south, got it. Uh, she's gone, it disappeared again. Oh well, let's just do what Big Sis Fuji said and restore this Voltive Range Age's power. Speaking of which, what you got to do with Voltive? <laughs> see, see, we're not much brighter than Paimon. <laughs> It's votive, not voting. All oh, right, it's so complicated. So since I mentioned it, what does votive even means? And why is it called range eight again? Exactly, what does it mean? Uh, let's follow that to destruction search. Okay, let me get. Let me open the map. Uh, I'll probably pass by many chests around here, so I think I prefer to mark them. Uh, let's see. Okay. I already don't know anymore which one was the first chest I got. Osmanthus wine All right. taste. Uh, let's go to the objective. Phenomenon or lump of bitch on this little energy. Uh, Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, oh, is it that? I have a few references. I'm so drenched. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Was a bit too much. Solidify. Frost is coming. Pair.
This Lord this of is order. A board created by a depth of power. It is getting gear. Solidify. Frost is coming. Stabilize. Going under. Pair. Frost is coming. Getting gear. Pair. Frost is coming. Getting gear. Ooh. No home. Then those was out of shoes. Oh, there we go. Let me open it. Uh, what was said by aberrations. Okay, that was. This chest is marked on the map. Oh no, okay. Okay, it works. Uh, so now... Is that an exit? It's part of the area, so... Oh no, this is where I came from, is it? Huh. Yeah, this is where I came when I was following it. Solidify. Time for a light show. Here come the fireworks. Please, we shall prevail. Oh, yeah. I will have order. Frost is coming. Get in gear. Yield. The field is lit. the same so from here. oh you guys are very silly put together yeah Sure, sure, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think it's also part of the thing.
Oh, it's finally over. Oh, well, it's been enough of that energy. Let's go back and have a look. Jupiter now. Uh, but we can fight where it's okay. Ooh. Seems like Jade's starting to move. Yeah, looks pretty. That's right, but according to the story, the river best should have lots of other votive rain jades. Why does Bix is switching on with this one? Look, it's shiny. Almost as if it's resonating with the depth of energy on you, Ignis. Uh, why don't we try using that power, huh? That should do it. Wow, awesome. It suddenly became small. Yeah, I'm on this thing. It just change size like like that. I guess that's what millennial treasures for you. It's just like you said, little mo. They could be as tall as clouds or small enough to hide a mist pool in leaf. Yeah. Well, looks like the votive rain jades are in our hands now. You're so reliable, Idus. Hey, Pamo worked hard too. This Pamo is amazing. So you're going to take us to that deep pool shrouded in cloud and mist to the south now right clouds and mist uh i think shinyu veil vale really does have place like that oh where tell us little guy and paimon will take you there do you remember the place mountain mansion uh, the spot where we met that place is super foggy and i know of a secret cavern that leads there even the other locals don't know about it it was my friend who showed me the way and since you are my friend too, Paimon, I'll tell you all about it. I've got an amazing, you've got an amazing friend, little Mao. Your friend in the mountains, are they connected to Adeptus Fujin? She told me lots of stories, and quite a few of them were about Bix's Fujin. Well, any friends of yours are friend of ours too. In fact, Paimon hopes we will meet her on the way. Shall we go? Paimon's gonna take you all to the place I mentioned, little Mao. Take us away, Paimon. In a moment, let's see if there are any treasure chests we haven't found yet. No, I'll get later. Alrighty then, let's go. Hey, I didn't pay attention that there was a, a different loading screen here. Any mods up here? What a look. Can I use the Oh, uh, no, look how behind you. Uh, isn't that the boss? Uh, oh, it's a huge monster. Get behind me, I'll throw this. Wait, your friend, you say? That's right, I told you before I had lots of friends, didn't I? No, you still have one friend. Well, I just happened to meet her. So, I got a hold of her to introduce to you. Uh, well, hello. I mean, is this Paimon? I mean, is this Mini Pai? We're friends of little Ma. Mini Pai. What kind of name is that? Paimon is Paimon. Uh, she's afraid of strangers. I actually call her Bluey because I don't really know her name. Oh, don't, don't you worry about that. It was a Paimon are great people. They've been accompanying me on my adventures. They are real experts in mountains and forests too. I know, I've seen. Answer me this one thing. Where did you gain the power to suppress nature? Suppress nature? What do you mean? Plains pursue the sunlight over the soil, creating fruit fit for the birds and beasts to consume. The digested seeds are scattered. 
And those which consume seed and fruit become bait for predators. Thus, does everything return to the land? The snake hidden in the branches, the fish in the mountains, and the beast in the forest. Traveling in the realm of nature is wonderful. So why have you come? Oh, come on, Bluey. You don't have to be so fierce. You raised two questions. My Adeptus energy comes from Ad Adeptus Fuji. Our goal is to nurse the soil and water in Chain of Veil. It's the energy. Exactly. Something is off about Chain of Veil in natural conditions. So Adeptus Fuji enlisted our help. Uh, if we don't, well, the tea leaves in Chowin village are gonna turn out worse and worse. The village itself might decline. That's why she wanted us to perform the range aid right, which will restore the area. The range aid right, I see. You have answered two of my questions. You may ask me two also. Uh, why do we have to do that? Give and take. It is only natural. You have one more question. <laughs> Wait, that one counted? Oh, whatever you ask is. Do you know that is Fuji? The Lord of said we want to restore nature. Is that the same as nursing the water and soil? Not the same. Mm, it isn't. Inus, what are you talking about? Kill all humans. That's right. What do you mean not the same? And the new... Uh, the new tea leaves taste better. More like before. More like... Whoa. And just like that she's gone? Don't worry about it. But much just like that. Sometimes when I'm not looking she'll just vanish into the shadow of the trees. Then at others, the sun might dazzle me, or the birds might call overhead, and there she is. In case, I guess we're all friends now. Uh, let's hope so. Uh, just don't worry about it. Well, I'm friends with a wolf that I kill every week, so... Yeah. Blue is got no bi not big on... Blue is not big on politeness, but she's always been like that. Uh, your friend is pretty strange, little mal. Is she? Well, probably you know, you're the one who might seem strange to others. I mean, not only can you use adaptive energy to make moss, make moss disappear, but you can make the golden stone things appear and vanish. And even turn into a carpet and fly around, like in the stories. After all, I'm none other than the <laughs> master of the film, Converse Guild. What? <laughs> huh? Yes. <laughs> Paimon couldn't have imagined that the friend you always spoke about was, well, monster seems a bit rude, and thing might be pretty offensive. That's right, your friend's so blue. No wonder you call her bluey. And that's why I've never told anyone. If the adults knew that we were friends, they might lock me up. Wait, really? You'll go to actual prison? And now I don't have another question because that doesn't really seem like so literal as a prison. No, not, not like that. They just wouldn't let me go out, make me wash my face, and force me to read my books. I wouldn't get to play in the mountains anymore. And that's why I never told anyone, but you're my friend, so it's fine. Anyway, come with me. There's an awesome place I'd love to show you. This human up ahead of us, there's a lot of moss around. Why do I got this aura? Huh. No, deal with us later. Oh. The miasma nearby. Uh, miasma since antiquity, a normally known as miasma, has been endemic in the mountains and rivers of Chino Vale. 
If an ordinary person inadvertently hails this gas, they will often suffer from headaches and chest pain for days. So, like what was happening in Sumeru. Mesmo may not be fatal to humans, but long term exposure to it does affect wild animals and monsters, making them more violent than usual. The more power the monster, the more severe the effects. Uh, try to feed in the leader of the monsters before following the trail to the source of the miasma in the area and purifying it. Okay. This is order. Do your work. The field is lit. Go to the ship now. Gather. Flee. Grant us your blessing. Now, this one had the blue aura, but it wasn't part of them. Time for a light show. Solidify! Order guide you! Commence the cleanup! Frost is coming! Pear! Get in gear! Pear! Get in gear! Frost is coming! The field is lit! But the miasma doesn't seem to be good for nature. If it makes them more violent. This will uh, show us. Uh, the amazing amount. Look, there's a green muzzle over this place. Show. Come on, let's use that thing again. You're awesome, man. You push the moss back just like that. Like you did with that smoky cloud. And still, that wasn't there yesterday. Is that what they call nature? Uh, don't worry about it. Moss are hill shoes. Just leave them out to Ignis. Little Mal, what's this picture about? Uh, originally, I didn't know either, but I figured it out today after hearing Bix's Fujin story. This must be the stuff that happened before the mural on Mount Lingman was made. Said this, long, long ago, people were able to talk to the gods and Adepti in the skies by talking to the big piece of jade in the middle. The emissary of the gods will lead them and protect them. See, that's gotta be the shiny golden person standing in the, in the middle. I bet that was a super amazing person. But later, just like Bixis Fujin said, something changed, and the people of Shinra Vale lost their guiding emissary, and they couldn't talk to the heavens any longer. That's how Range 8 Right came about. Hmm, your story does make sense. Uh, thanks, what do you think? Your pretty bright spark, <laughs> no more. That's a distinct possibility, I'm not sure. That's a possibility. But to think of it, our ancestors were pretty amazing themselves, huh? The jades they left to us still have the power to restore nature. For something this old to still be so strong, the past must have been sw a smaller time than the present, huh? That's not true, the world marches onwards. That's right, the world's been constantly in decline. No, the world march marches onwards. Leaving the accumulated detritus of the past in its wake. That's a really cool thought. I never thought about it that way. Uh, Pebble thinks that you are the amazing one, little Mao. We've seen lots of ancient objects, puzzles, mysterious powers, and monsters in our time, but Paimon's never considered this stuff before. 
Oh, you know what? Not thinking about this stuff at all is pretty awesome. True, <laughs> really? I bet you, you'll be just like my big sister when you grow up. Just having fun adventuring to get everywhere. Oh, you have a big sister then? Well, we're not blood related. But uh, she worked here in Chino Vale for a while. She got up the mountains and run around the rivers. Then I follow her. We discovered this little cave together. She said that this cave is my Rubicon. Not that I know what that means. However, she hasn't written to me in a long time. If I were, if I were to guess, she's off adventuring some faraway place. Maybe in the ancient city of Is or something like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, this big sis of yours sure seems like an interesting person. I know, right? This little big sis Fujin needs our help, so let's continue on. Uh, oh, there you are. Uh, oh, so worried. Wow, a golden carp. Uh, one was quite concerned that the surly miasmas and fierce beasts that roam might have caused the will. But one sees that it is not so, and that is good. Uh, thanks to the depth of energy you possess, you know, one has been connected to the golden carp here, thus gaining the means to speak to you with you directly. Inus, you Paimon, little Mal, please come with me. Uh, city of East. I don't remember what was the city of East. Wise. Yeah, it's probably pronounced Wise. Up. She fragment. Just casually picking that up. She fragment with adaptive energy lingering around. The legend told by ancestral people all jade originally came from the same stone. If that holds true, it may be possible to join the fragments together. Please, Fuji. Uh, uh, before hmm. oh. Quake Pear! Frost is coming. Solidify. This is order. Let's go. I should heal them. I'm just up ahead. Oh, we'll come here. time has passed since I last emerged here. This was once a lively place filled with the aroma of incense. Then the three of us could travel freely across the mountain rivers. Yes, yeah, those days were like flowing water beneath the moon, dark yet sparkling oh so brightly. Uh, but enough reminiscing. Thanks to you all, I am now able to return here and host the range it right. Uh, so you're the person in the mirror. I get it now, that person is standing in a mountain, he, he, hugging that egg. And uh, that was you, wasn't it? Uh, an egg? Come now, little Mo. That was a precious jade. Casting range aid as a ritual of great power. The votive range aid can calm rivers, improve the weather. It can also be a thing of death and slaughter. Uh, only the thinnest line separates curses in the adaptive energies that have aided you up till now. That is why I must make sure that the right does not fall into the hands of those who do ill. 
That's why, uh, yes, that is correct. One was indeed the figure who hugged that egg in the mural. Uh, Big Sis Fujin, doesn't that make you pretty uh, ancient? She's an adeptus. What's a big deal? Yes, it does. Still, I do like the name Big Sis. It does quite make me feel young. Well, being called adeptus is pretty alright too. Uh, right? Okay, well, certainly. So, even if the other's title titled me as such, I am aware that I am hardly the equal of true adepti like Mountain Shaper in the rest. I am, in truth, the weakest of my band of friends. I cannot make medicines to save others, nor can I bound across the mountains and plains. Even so, I could not simply lay the title down. Well, being mortal seems to be a good deal, being a death, just like that. Uh, you would have done the people of Chain of Veil a disservice, I fear. Still, you may call me whatever you wish. After all, we have become friends, or so I would say. In any case, my days of being called Adeptus are now consigned to history, just like this place has been. Once the Range Aid Ride was a day of great celebration, where we would commemorate the Year of Abundance using laughter, firecracker battles, and beast dances to frighten the ill omens away. This must appear like not but forgotten ruins to the modern mind. But not completely forgotten. That's right, the people in Chaoying village told us that it was the mighty Adeptus Fujin who defeated the demons and planted the first tea tree. Back on the bamboo raft, Grandpa Lu also made... We weren't at the bamboo raft with Grandpa Lu, also mentioned that the offerings of tea were to a certain carp Adeptus. It wasn't there... Um, that opera sung at Elon Wharf about the carp going around killing stuff. <laughs> you were so awesome those stories, Pixis Fujin. Also, people still do the Wushou dance, you know? Uh, you said yourself the definition of an adeptus is... Also, putting definitions aside, you are afraid, Fujin. You shouldn't be constantly fretting about the rights and stuff, you should live happily, like we are companions on an adventure. That's right, we are on an adventure together. Right, yes, you're right, thank you. That was well said, indeed, I was the one who asked you to, well, for help. You wouldn't do at all if I just continue wallowing in the past now, would, I? would it? In any case, I need your help to prepare for the ride itself. In any case, have you encountered any sacred simulacra in your adventure? This, this, those were spiritual, those were ritual spirits often used by people in ancient times to protect their homes. There should be some nearby. Oh, those. In the spam of them all, please help me put the simulacra in their proper places. That way we can restore the spirit's veins using the range 8 right. It was. I will. I have faith in you. Oh, I'm staying here now. There was some longer during the early festivals. People didn't know how they should carve the statues, and the products turned out a real mess. Even that friend of mine couldn't help but burst into laughter upon seeing it. Uh, sorry about that, Ignus. I lo got lost in the past again. Very well. Can I walk on water again? Good. I can water everywhere on water here. Oh. Stabilize. Here. Fire hazard.
Didn't go right by on the map. <laughs> uh, and there's still this area here to unlock. So. Oh. This. This thing is in here. Oh! Uh, I didn't even read what they said. Uh, but... So there's Swanee. I mean, the beast is not... We can go there, fight it anytime I want now. It feels like I should unlock that fight yeah. during this quest. Oh. I'm oh, reporting back. Okay. <coughs> the secret smoke are ready. Thank you both. The votive range aid has been returned to its priests. And the statue have come back to the rightful place. Uh, now the gym, the range aid right is now ready to be performed. But will Chain of Veil really recover once you cast the range aid in? That's right, things will get better for us, little Mao. Nature, Jade, humans, always divinely dictated. The changes in the lane and water in Chain of Veil are malicious fog in the spirit banks. They are all essentially a sign of the earth moving against the flow of time. Uh, uh, so the miasma-like thing is a manifestation of uh, environmental disorder. Uh, that's right. We can think of it like Chain of Veil attempt to... How to put it? Return to nature. And that will, what we intend to do here is treat this land and soil. And rid it of the sickness, return to nature. After all, before humans left their caves and mountains to dominate the world and regulate nature, and before Chain of Veil vale or Bishui River got those names, the lane mountains and rivers had their own order. Even I sometimes miss the cool mountain streams and the great rivers that would ebb and flow with each season. I mean, I was once a mere fish that swam. But if we let nature seize control of its order once more, the people of Chenyu Veil vale will suffer in language. I hope you can understand. Yeah. In that case... Did you throw it? Hmm, did it work? Uh, no. The thing that fell just now. Nothing shall change. It seems I am too feeble in my current state. Uh, we got the votive range aid. And we placed the simulacra, but it still wasn't enough. I'm very sorry, it's not your fault. I need more power to overcome this trial. 
Just as the adeptal energy in the votive range has faded into the spirit veins, so has my powers also left me across the long years. Uh, we will grow really big just like the jade? Uh, probably not. <coughs> uh, just think about it though. Super adept Fujin, now three times the size. Well, is there any way we can restore your power? The golden carp. Ah, uh, Inus, you are wise indeed. Before you found a few golden carp, I could not even muster the strength to appear. Initially, I thought that we just needed to gather all the ritual implements, and that would make and that would make up for the deficiency in my power. I was not entirely open with you before, but neither the present nor the past me was anywhere near a match for the Adepti of the South. I feared you would consider me weak and unworthy of your help. Okay, is that it? Paimon thought you'll have something more important to say. Huh? There's no way we'd abandon or not make friends with you just because of that. That I, the young master, consider you a friend is not conditional on your status as an adeptus. That you're my friend has nothing to do with your status as a young master. Other than that whole young master bit, Paimon wanted to say the same thing. And my friend told me lots of stories about you. In my mind, even though we've just met, we're already friends. And I also want you to be happy, big sis. All right, all right. Thank you, all of you. Well, that's more like it. So, where should we start looking for this golden carp? I believe that you have to go to Yaldi Valley. There will be a cavern there with golden carp hidden within. Oh, that's a bit far. Uh, let me just stop by there and see if I can start a fight. I won't fight it yet. Let's see if she's there. Not. Oh, I didn't notice the tail like that. Oh no, we can't fight. Solidify. So just suddenly eliminate the beast, those are the same, hydro animals, stay in battle. Okay. Range is frozen while we'll getting hydro alignment into energy. Oh, we just get around to use. Take on the reactor. Anything can react to animal. Almost. Alright. Yeah, it feels like it should be part of the quest. Uh, okay, I probably should actually walk through there. Let's unlock those teleports. Mm. Yeah, if they don't have more quest, more objectives along the way, I think we can finish this quest today. Just get our energy. Uh, no, let's not mess with that yet. Uh, just get her energy for her for the carp and lift the fog and fight the big cat. Translate Full Hill Shrines added to the archive.
Oh. So that was a carp thing. Crumble. Oh. Oh, events quickly. Be trickier to kill one of those. If Venice took pass, Miasma. Sort the items fishing. by type and a, store them for future use. Boat. Supposed to equip a certain space that the problem I made. Uh, either way, uh, save a small lacra. Okay, not enough time to read everything. Again. You will just swear that on the map. I can't really find that. Yeah, I can't really find the chest here on the map. I'm gonna small talk, I don't have anything more to talk about. Uh, I'm Butler's place, uh, responsible for this management of Master's boat. I 
have garage, I can talk about things with you. If you are going to enter master's study, remember not to touch the stone sledge, it's only very important to the master. Oh, yeah, we can just repair it. We're here, Big Sis Fujin. Have you been waiting for us here all this time? Uh, no, no. After leaving the carp's rest, I can only appear in places in which my power remains. And only by the grace of your depth of energy, you know? Wait a minute, didn't the gap in the middle of the mural originally have something that went with the golden carp mural in it? Uh, I'm not sure. In truth, this is my first time seeing this mural as well. Huh? I'm sure you'll have you've all heard of the battles that took place in the past. Karina, the Ark of War. Hmm? Uh, sorry, I'm. I'm merely a minor adapter of Channel Veil. I feel I know little about any wars concerning this Karina. The Ark of War? Yes, this place wa this cave was once. was one of the shelters we built for the inhabitants of Channel Veil. Such that the innocents caught in the crossfire when the floods overturned. Turn the heavens and the earth split open could have a place of safety. I didn't expect that they'd draw a mural here, though. I believe the ones depicted to be me, uh, I mean, the big slippery carp, little malmation, and a friend. Uh, if that's the case, why did the most important part get taken somewhere else? That's true, why is that? I have the satisfaction. The three of us were once great friends, with two of us becoming worshipped as Undepti, and one of us was always the mountain's master. Later, her lord and I defected together, and she most likely died too, or perhaps the one among us who fought to the last never sub submitted, and only heard news of us afterwards. Perhaps to her, we were all traitors, with the depictions of myself and her blood becoming an object for her to vent her fury against. Mm, is that really the case? The painting outside looks like... Who knows? In any case, that's all in the past. So please, leave me your strength in nursing chain of veil back to health. I can feel the, there's another golden carp lingering where I used to. Uh, near Mount Shu. Swan Ling, uh, I believe. Oh, so there's another. If you get that one, I should have enough strength to perform the ritual. Speaking of that, I must apologize for being unable to control the golden carp even with you nearby. I know they might have given you some trouble swimming through the air like that. There was some more troublesome. Yes, it's fine. It's just, I just think of them like sealies. But really, where is the golden carp that should be here? Oh, well, inside the painting, just use your depth of energy to awaken it. I told you we should use depth of energy to... Okay. What's here first? Adeptus notes. The branch she planted keeps growing. It seems the water and soil in the cave are quite nutritious. Maybe in a few years, once it grows a little bigger, the... Medicine jar would be too small for this young tree. She. Hmm. Which. Hmm. Uh, maybe something there. She connected the door opening mechanism with the jar the branch is planted in. Uh, breathing for life, giving adaptive energy into the mechanism. 
Seems the jar contained the mechanism was the mage a long time ago. I wonder if the door can still open and close. Is it just one? Range. Uh, maybe not here. Much more about the the car. I'll bring where this should be. Uh, they my three friends. Let us meet again. It's a surprise. Is it here? Maybe just place the statue here towards. Uh, I think I'm here. I know I don't want to keep getting things, but. Ancient notes. Oh! The contents blurry, only thing complete sentence written in elegant handwriting can be legible. As the vivid butterflies converge in the jar, the depth of energy surges anew, akin to a new life restored to a withered tree. Go west and behold Linshu Courtyard and. West of here. <sighs> I can't place it there. Alright then, so let's go outside. Is that the path? No, no. This is it. Stabilize. Oh, which new right of hands? Oh, let's see what clues we can find. The sky is over swanly. Add it to the archive. Virtue, whip there. <laughs> Teleports to higher. 
Oh, here. Ah, oh, a spirit card. Didn't get one of those yet. Mm, a spirit card formed from the condensed adaptive energy, swimming freely amidst mountains and river valleys. Ah, it's probably more like this than those. Yeah. There is a pavilion here on this mountain. It's rather adapta style. Mm, Pema wonders where we'll find the golden carp. This place is kind of huge. Maybe we can do what we did last time, you know? You know the bit where you use adapta energy on the mural and the carp turned out to be hiding inside. Mm. Oh, look, you know, there's four carp statues here. It seems to be missing one still. Uh, do you think there may be a four giant carps hiding inside? Uh, that does make sense. You're pretty smart, little mom. You know, it's adaptive energy reacting anyway. Not at all. But there seems to be something missing inside. Uh, that may be where the critical clues lies. Uh, you know, over here, it looks like there's an orb inside some of the carp statues. Then we find some statues of carps and large pearls in our way down the mountain. We did. Maybe those are actually used for something. A real pearl of wisdom. That's worth a try. Good job, little Mao. Well, let's give it a go then. There are no more teleports around. Ah, uh, no, that's just yeah, yeah. You don't roll. Frost is coming. Pair. Commencing cleanup. Pair. Frost yeah. is coming. Frost is coming. Getting gear. Frost is coming. <laughs> Getting gear. Dada Kondala. Frost is coming. What, what do I do now?
Getting gear. Pair. I can get that again. So. What do I do? I can just collect it. Shake cascade. Use that to energy created by the food change wound. Fish heart being left behind. Ah, okay. That's working. Ah, okay. For the last one. If there's any scrap metal or parts you don't want, I'll take No. Sort the items by type and store them for future use. Yeah, but it seems we're missing one card as well. My apologies for my poor hospitality. It has been a long time since I last enjoyed tea with others. Hopefully, my brain skills have not deteriorated too much over time. And I mean, I have some experience in appreciating tea. Uh, it was also thanks to this that I was able to tell that this year's tea offering smelled off. That was how I discovered the trouble with the soil and water quality. Um, didn't think the offering rights would be so useful. It was like it wasn't some sort of meaningless tradition after all. I suppose now I can tell those who fail to appreciate the value of tea about its value with confidence. Come, so, Inus has some tea. Is this your tea pot, Fujin? Not sure why, but it reminds me of Madame Pink's. Uh, there was that time in Louis Harbor when we fixed Madame Pink's teapot for her. Uh, you think about it? Wisdom has quite a connection with tea. Madame Ping? Ah, I think I know of whom we speak. We were acquainted back in the day, along with her friends. Uh, as Little Mouse said, I was once just a giant carp, unable to leave fresh water for too long, nor live in salty waters. As such, they sent me one of those these teapots. You will that was how my friends would have been able to take me inside my teapot, of course, to Gilly Plains in Louis Harbor to meet those lovely people they spoke of. Unfortunately, such a time never quite came. In Spamo, you've been to Louis Harbor. Could you tell me more about the city? I share about it too. I've never been. Well, I would like to start from one new restaurant. How about I handle the explanations this time? 
Uh, sure, but don't you dare skip over any of the eating beats. It is a port city built nestled against the mountains. You're begging only for Fuji to interrupt you. She notes she knows that she likes to hear your Liu story. You understand and begin again. When we arrived in Liu Harbor, Paimo and I were just in time for the ride of dissension. The child and Deftus before you listen to your words, and Paimo's incessant interjections, leaning forward as you speak, exclaiming in shock and relaxing as the tension in the tale rises and falls. They also add their own commentary and questions about Liu Wei, such as the food and flavors available at restaurants, uh, the toys uh, the old lady sells, the gems and jewelry from Feiyun Slope, and such. As you watch Fujin, Little Mo and Paimo be so moved by the tale, along this journey, we met many friends, and experienced many things. It was all worth it. I can only hope that in the end it will be all worth it. It was worth it. Wow, sea monster, huh? Amazing. Little Harbor is not what I imagined. Did you find it disappointing? Well, no, just different. Being different doesn't make it bad. I like the Little Harbor you described. It's good to hear that after all this time, our dear Herb Lord was able to find a home there. I think that's simply wonderful. What about you, little Mao? Could you tell me about you and your friend? I'm curious to know what she's like. Mm, sure, I mean, Pamelinos have met her already, so it wouldn't be fair if I didn't tell you. So this is how I met her. At that time, I was still a little kid who didn't know anything about the mountains. It was night time and some wild beasts were following me through the forest. It was super scary. Finally, I was chased through a clearing and surrounded by those beasts. For a moment, I was convinced I was going to get eaten. But suddenly, they all backed off into the woods and they, they were gone. When I looked back, there she was, looking at me. She was like Jade, but there was a dignity to her. I knew it then, that she was the master of the mountain that my grandparents had told me about. I wasn't scared, I just told her. I finally found you, I've been looking for you for so long. I don't know why, but she lowered her head and thought before walking off. She made no noise as she did so. I listened as hard as I could, but there were no sounds of anything stepping on branches or falling leaves. After that, I would sometimes catch sight of her, moving between trees in a flash. Sometimes the rising moonlight would outline her shadow as she stood atop a high mountain. At that time, I thought it was strange. Why had I seen her before? She was always there after all. I wanted to talk to her, but she would always turn and leave. It was only later that she became willing to talk to me. Much later on, she would take me up very mo high mountains and into very deep forests. She asked me a lot of questions, and in exchange, she told me lots of stories. In the beginning, Chowin village was nameless, very mountain, and the rivers had a real temper. Sometimes they flood, and other times they would all but wither. And on the bare mountain, she made two freights, a fish and a snake. But later the snake was cut into pieces, and the fish sank into the sea, and then only Bluey was left. Thank you, little Mao. Also, uh, don't tell anyone about my friend, alright? Of course you won't. You seem quite familiar with this friend of little Mao's, Fujin. Indeed, but that was all in my past life. Many, many years have passed since I could no longer move freely. I suspect that I might not recognize her any longer. Though, from Little Mouse's words, she might not have changed too much. Past life. Perhaps that is not the most accurate way to phrase it. 
I did not utterly perish, but I did lose my original form, and my strength and wisdom dissipated along the spirit veins. This is also why I invited you and Hignus to Carp's Rest. If we were not there, I would not even have a form to show you or a voice with which to speak to you. It is thanks to you that I've been able to slowly re regain my previous strength, coming here and once more seeing these scenes with my own eyes, meeting old friends from the past, and more importantly, making new friends. I'm very glad. Uh, how did you die? My memories of that have grown foggy. The Herb Lord and I were both servants of another god. And it was I that organized the range aid right, administering the rivers and mountains for our lord. As for the other, she was a she is a beast, wild and free. In those peaceful days, I also climbed waterfalls to Mount Auchan and Mount Hulao. And there I met with the Adepti, whose power and wisdom far eclipsed mine. Of course, that was all before the war. Our lord was not a heinous being at the time, by any means. Uh, once uh, upon a time, she made my many dreams come true. If there was any evil, it was the Archon War itself. What happened next needs no further explanation on my part, I'm sure. You talked about how you and her blood defected. Um, that's right. That might have been the bravest thing we've ever done. Our lord had all but gone mad seeking the position of a god who may rule this world, or perhaps seeking survival. Either way, she lacked the power to overcome Morax. So, in a final desperate gamble, she caused the Bishu River to flood, hoping to destroy everything downstream. Of course, she knew what would that would mean for Chen Yuvei and its people. Oh, but um, Pemo thinks that that's something you should never ever do, period. Perhaps that's just what war does to people. Either way, that was our final adventure as a trio of friends. Ling Wan attacked people with her familiars, urging them to the shelter we had prepared. Her blood for fought against our mistress while I climbed Mount Limay and hurled the votive range agent into the rising water. Of course, there wasn't a proper range aid, right? It was simply the release of the depth of energy stored within the jade pendant to have the earth open its mouth and swallow the rivers, and allow the jade mouth to grow and stabilize the flow. Well, what happened next? And didn't little mouth tell you how it all ended? Yeah. That's right. Wait, really? Wait. Alright, that's enough about pass. Where we we should uh, we should get back to perform the rite itself. True, but what about the golden carp? Isn't that what we're looking for? In truth we already found it. As with the previous one. That's how I was able to appear before you. It's just that I missed the scenery here a bit too much, so I couldn't help but have a long chat with you all. After all, your sense of time and mind are not the same. You won't tarry long once your objects are complete, will you? As such, I apologize. Please forgive my capriciousness. Oh, if there's any the scrap box. metal or parts you don't want, I'll take them. Okay, now back there. Yeah, I think the quest is almost over, but I think there's still quite a bunch of talk in between. Yeah. Oh, my power is still a far cry from how it was in the past. Thanks to your age, I have regained much strength. Thank you. Next time, uh, next, we need to perform the ceremony. What effects will we have? 
Uh, it's been thousands of years since we last performed it. And the mountains, rivers, and spirit veins have all changed a great deal. But if all goes well, the votive range age will resolve the issue. Well then, let's begin. The fog is dissipating. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Oh, that thing. Uh, it's just like the mural. Do you remember, Paimon? The one with the two golden people and something between them. Oh, you're really impressive, little mall. But I didn't remember that at all. Behold the sacred mountain. In my era, to merely climb it was already transgress. But the ancestral inhabitants of this place are gone, and the communion path lies waste and broken. Who shall judge us now? Uh, that is where the spirit veins of Chain of Veil converge, though through which I can transmit my depth of energy throughout the veil, restoring its water in its soil. We are only one step off from achieving our goal. Are you prepared, Ignus? Let's do this. Indeed. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna stop here <laughs> and continue this some other day. Traits of Lake Sing added to, or maybe Lake Sing added to the archive. Okay, that was that area. Yeah, I don't think it'll be as long as should be, but maybe another half an hour at least. Yeah, I'm tired. Let's try to get one. No, not yet. Alright, so I'm off. <laughs> 